The Yakusalan Glacier Lagoon and Diamond Beach rank as one of the top tourist destinations in Iceland. Thousands of people are drawn to the Yakusalan Lagoon year-round to watch the stunning bright blue and milky white icebergs that float on the lagoon. They then wander around the remnants of icebergs on Diamond Beach and snap pictures of seals as they play amongst the icebergs. Yakusalan Glacier Lagoon and Diamond Beach are located directly off Highway 1, 380 kilometres or a five hour drive from Reykjavik. The drive from Reykjavik to Hofen along the south coast is possibly one of the most scenic drives in the world, with so many unmissable sights. Yakusalan is located in the Vatna Yakol National Park. This national park encompasses an enormous area. It covers 12,000 square kilometres, almost 14% of Iceland, and it's the largest national park in Western Europe. A century ago, this beautiful lagoon did not exist. So what's happening to the glacier? Yakusalan means Glacier River Lagoon. The lagoon is a product of the changing climate. Due to rising temperatures, the glacier has been retreating from the Atlantic Ocean since the 1920s, with the lagoon forming around 1934. The lagoon grew quickly, but with increased global warming, the lake has quadrupled in size in the last 50 years. At approximately 18 square kilometres and 250 metres deep in sections, it is the deepest lake in Iceland. The lagoon is connected directly to the Atlantic Ocean and is composed of seawater and freshwater, giving the lagoon a unique colour. Most visitors will wander along the end of the lagoon admiring the icebergs as they move and float downstream in the swift flowing currents. Parking at Yukusalon Lagoon is free. There are public toilets, a small cafe and a ticket office for boat tours. If you're after a bit of adrenaline pumping fun, then hop on a Zodiac tour. This informative tour will take you out onto the lake, among the icebergs and then zoom across the lagoon at high speed out towards the glacier. If you're lucky enough, you will get to see sheets of ice fall off the glacier. For those not wanting the adrenaline rush of the Zodiac Tour, then the most popular and cost-effective boat tour is the amphibian boat. It will take you across land and then out onto the lagoon. Watch for the seals. They can be seen laying on icebergs to stay safely out of the way of the orcas that are in the water. In winter, they will gather in large numbers to catch fish at the mouth of the lagoon. Icebergs are constantly breaking off the glacier in a process known as carving. The icebergs can be several stories high and some contain water that is a thousand years old. The icebergs are white and blue in colour with black streaks of volcanic ash indicating past volcanic eruptions. The icebergs that break away from the glacier and fall into the lagoon majestically float constantly changing shape and position until they find their way out to the Atlantic Ocean. The ocean waves polish the icebergs and then wash them back onto the jet black sands of Diamond Beach. Here the icebergs glisten like diamonds in the sun. It's a spectacular sight and one not to be missed. There is a path that leads you from the lagoon, along the river, under the highway bridge and out to Diamond Beach. I could have watched the icebergs float around for hours. A huge shout out to Hotel Korea in Vik and the Edda Hotel in Hofen for hosting us during our stay in Southern Iceland. <laughs>